The PVC extrusion process is a combination of science and technology. It all starts when PVC resin is made by combining chlorine from salt with ethylene derived from natural gas. This is converted at high temperature to vinyl chloride monomer. These monomer molecules are polymerized, forming polyvinyl chloride resin. Each night, rail cars deliver the PVC resin to the extrusion plant. That material is pumped into large storage silos. The resin, along with other micro-ingredients, are combined and processed in the blending operation to create the PVC compounds suitable for the extrusion process. These proprietary formulations improve weatherability, add custom color, and improve durability, impact resistance, and processability. Once the compounding process is complete, material is transferred to silos closer to the extrusion lines to begin the manufacturing process. As the compound enters the hopper of an extrusion line, an auger continuously feeds the dry material into the extruder barrel. As the compound is fed through the extruder barrel, the temperature of the material increases until it reaches 390 degrees. Here, the powdered compound melts into a viscous material. The revolving action of the dual screws pushes the melted compound into the die, starting the process of converting the material into a profile. Once the material flows through the first metal die plate, it starts to take on its initial shape. The material is pushed and pulled through a series of metal die plates. An acrylic cap is applied and is fused onto the extrusion. As it moves through the various dies, the shape becomes more defined. From the die, the material then moves into the calibration system. Traveling through the multiple plates within the calibrator block is the final step in defining the geometry and critical characteristics of the profile. These calibrator blocks have water that is chilled to 55 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit to cool the profile, while a vacuum holds the material to the sides of the calibrator to maintain the profile's geometry. This cooling process starts to harden the profile and reduce its viscosity. Once the profile exits the calibrator block, it moves into the water cooling tank. The profile is completely immersed in chilled water as it runs through a series of guides. These guides help maintain the critical dimensions and overall shape of the profile. Since the extrusion process involves pushing material through the die, a caterpillar puller is used at the end of the line to sequence the movement of the profile through the process. It then goes through a heated embossing process to apply the wood grain surface. A precisely timed saw then cuts the siding to an exact length and it is dropped to a table for packaging. The profiles are placed onto a wooden pallet, wrapped and labeled. Each pallet is moved by forklift to be placed in queue for shipping. A trailer is then loaded with a siding and driven across North America for delivery to our customers.